hello guys welcome back so this is the continuation video of my first video in the previous video we have seen how to start tomcat from docker and we have successfully worked with that so in the like i said in the previous video we'll be deploying a sample var file in your tomcat and tomcat docker and just see whether it's working or not so i'll just show you i have downloaded a file sample var file So here you can see it sample application. So it says as a var file and can be downloaded here. So it's 4.5 KB. I'll just click on OK. So it shows sample all in one because I have already downloaded this file with this name. So I'll just remove the latest one. So this is a sample var file like this. So my Tomcat is already running and I'll just go to my browser and show you. So 192.168.99.100 colon 9292. So that's it. So I'm going to copy some files to this Tomcat and just see how it works. So what I mean is I'm going to deploy a var file of the sample which I have downloaded and we'll just see I'm going to copy this and uh, I'll paste it in the E okay I have some permission access with this so I'll just paste it directly here outside so this is sample war where file <laughs> not war file okay so I'll just copy sample copy this so this will be your file to deploy just go to your tomcat and here we will we'll just check the commands how to copy the file so docker container call and help so we'll just see so here it is so copy files between container and the local file system so that's it so I'm just going to copy then I'm going to use the command docker dock -E docker cp okay and uh, let me directly copy and we need to mention our local path so that will be this d colon sample wire and this will be our destination place and uh, sorry to direct to understand how we are copying these files first we need to go to our tomcat workspace so how to do that docker containers docker container ls so this is our tomcat i'm just going to take this id so docker exec it and our id and bash sorry i forgot to mention the word container docker container exec it and uh, this will be your container id and bash okay so we'll just see mm, doc do okay sorry do c k e r c k e r so that means we are in the tomcat now so we can see the folders web app so we need to deploy our file in web apps so how to do that just i'm going to come out of this <coughs> now docker cp and your path of the docker image sorry path of the var file sample var copy and we'll just paste it here and this will be our destination path to where we are going to where we are going to copy this file so that will be specific container so this will be the container id copy colon and us okay 
user you can you can simply copy this if not just copy till here paste it and colon web apps sorry backward slash web apps just open again so this will be our uh, copy command and this will be path of our current sample wire file and uh, this will be the destination to specific container id and this will be the path and in this web app path we are going to paste this so we'll just run it it seems this has been copied now i'll just go to my bash and just check ls web apps pd space web apps uh, sorry ls so you can see sample dot where file has been copied and this could be the folder name which where it has been extracted so so sample cd space sample ls so these are the files web banner hello we have hello.jsp in this we'll just check it so that means our web file is successfully deployed now we'll go to our browser here it is and just click on forward slash cmpl sample that's it we are it says sample hello world application okay if i go with this it says it, if i go with some different name it says 404 not uh, found but when i go with sample that means this is running so if i click on this jsp page it shows us this is output of jsp page this is part of hello world application that's it i'll go back click on servlet this is output of servlet this is part of hello world application that means we have successfully deployed a wire file, wire file in tomcat so this is how you can actually copy different files to your different folders and just work with it so that's it guys and <coughs> in the next video we'll be discussing how to commit your whole process of this so that you no need to again do all these things for example in my case it's only a sample var file but in some other case you need to copy multiple files to actually run your application and run your application or uh, deploy a var file in your tomcat but in my case it's simply a var file a sample var file but even then how to save this session is very important so that if you turn off your computer and uh, or else if you stop your container in some in some cases then your all sessions will be lost so we'll actually do this we'll see how it works in the next video guys so thank you for watching